this is Andrea Callie, and in today's video I'm going to show you how I created a really nice soft glow text reveal effect and let me show you what that looks like. So this is a really nice fairly feminine type of look and Honestly, I really believe that this is a super great look for a couple of different scenarios. Anything that you need a soft look, a whimsical look, a feminine look, even a Christmas look would be great. Any kind of ethereal look, any, anything that needs to be organic and flowy, not a lot of quick movement, and perfect for heart-centered designs, Things like that. That's why I'm thinking this could be used for. So let me show you how I created this. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off all of the other elements so it doesn't get in the way visually. And we're going to go into this two line glow reveal group. And notice how I have quick properties set up to where I can easily change the top text and the bottom text in one one setting. And let's go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to expand this. I actually already have the tab open, so you would click on this plus, but here it is open already. And I'm actually going to turn off or hide the lower text because if you notice they're just the opposite of, of one another. So I'll show you how I created the top text. And the bottom text, you would simply reverse that. So let's go ahead and hide that lower text. And we're going to focus on the upper text. So here's the upper text tab actually open. And we have a couple of elements. Now we have a shape that creates that sweeping wipe glow look, okay? And it is on top of a text annotation, which provides the glow. And then b below that is the text that stays in place, so it's revealed. So if I didn't have this bottom text, watch what would happen. The wipe would go across the glow and then it would go away. And that's really not what I want. I want it to stay in place. I want it to be a, a reveal. So I'm going to turn that back on. And this is a shape that I have a media mat on sitting on top of this text. And it sh basically just shows, let's take a look at the media mat settings. It's set on alpha mode. Now this graphic element, let me show you what it looks like. It's this PNG file that I created with a gradient look so the middle line fades out to the edges with a transparency. And I use that to go from left to right and let me show you. Let me back up here. Let's close that. Scroll out. Here is that PNG image with the media mat on it that simply shows the text, the glow text underneath. Oh, let me turn off the bottom solid text. Let's do that again. It just wipes across. And basically what I did was I turned this, a slant on this, changed the Z rotation to minus 15. I have it starting on the left. Here's a custom animation. The easing setting is linear. So I want it to be smooth all the way across. Starts here, ends over here. That's a fairly long duration at about two and a half seconds, somewhere around there. Now, if I turned media mat off, Here's the text underneath. It has a glow on it. Here's the glow. I set the radius to 35%, the intensity to 60%, but you can go ahead and adjust that. I wanted it, it to be fairly dramatic, so I have those settings up pretty high. Here, let me zoom in a bit. 
So you might want it to be a little less dramatic, but that's, that's your choice. You just go into the glow settings. I'll go ahead and turn that media mat back on. And this is what that effect looks like. It's perfect. So now I'm going to turn on the solid text underneath, basically the text that looks like it's getting revealed. And I will turn off these other two elements and show you what this looks like. This is basically just solid text with a transition on it. I used gradient wipe and it's about a two second transition so it's pretty long. So putting all these elements together, this is what it looks like. So that's perfect. So what I did was once I had upper text taken care of, I made a copy of it. Pasted it on the track above, named it lower text, positioned it down lower, changed the font style, changed the text, that kind of thing to make it the second line. Let's just go into this real quick. So this looks very familiar. The things that are different, obviously things are going in the reverse order. So the end here, let's take a look at the, where it begins is on the right. Go swipe through the animation. ends up on the left. So it's basically just the opposite of the first line. It creates a really, I think it creates a really nice look. And on the solid text, the transition is the same. It's a gradient wipe, but I checked the box that said reverse and that took care of it for me. I didn't have to do anything special to get that set up. So here it looks like. That's really nice. So just to go over that again, zoom that in a bit. This is a PNG image that has a black stripe down the middle that fades out to a transparent gradiency. Second line starts on the right, about two and a half seconds, ends up on the left. This has a media matte visual effect on it that allows us to show the text underneath that has a glow effect on it. And then the text element that is on the bottom, the text that is getting revealed, has a gradient wipe transition effect that I've checked it to go in reverse. And that's really how you set that up. So let me go ahead and close that. And one thing I want to show you here that you can do with these, since the upper text and the lower text are two different groups, let me show you something. What if I decided to have the top text and the bottom text come in at different times? Right now, they come in together, which is a really nice look. But what if I time the lower text to come in with the music? Let's take a look at what that looks like. So that's really nice as well. You can, you have the option to have the both the top text and the bottom text come in at the same time or you could stagger them based on how quickly you want things to come in and if you want to set something to the beat of your music it's really easy to do you simply change the group position and you're done so now let's just play that one more time now let's go ahead and stagger those two text groups. Let's play that, see how we like that. That's very nice as well. So anyway, you have some choices there. You can stagger the text. What I really love about it is that it's perfect for a lot of different types of designs where you want a softer look to fit your project. And really that's all there is to it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.